Right, good morning. So today we have Aaron Arn, a Wraith player here with us. So good morning, Aaron. Morning. Uh, how are you? Fine, I doing good. Just finished training. How are you? I'm all right. Uh, so when did you start playing football? Um, I would say probably about four or five. Just started. That was when I started going to proper training. Just like mini kickers and things like that. And then I wouldn't say I started properly playing for a team until maybe six, maybe. I started playing for my local boys club team and we're keeping Hillfield Swift. And then just worked up from there, kept on playing. And that was that really for the, the younger age. Obviously, you're still really young. Like you're only 17. But uh, who inspired you when you started? And who's like kept inspiring you through like uh, as you've progressed through? Um, I'd probably say, in terms of like professional yeah, players already, I'd say Steven Gerrard, just because obviously I was a, I'm a big Liverpool fan, so I would say he inspired me that way. But also my dad as well, because he he played football, so he was I was always kind of around football and going to watch games with him. Or just there's a football ground, the Swiss grounds is just two minutes away from my house, so I was always going to watch football. So, but if I was same player, definitely Steven Gerrard, yeah. Yeah, it could be like generally anyone. Like you said, like if your dad played football and you were watching him play, it's normal like that you picked that up from your dad as well. Yeah. Would you say it's always kind of been part of your life then? Yeah, always. So I've never really known anything other than football, really. Like, I've never really thought, oh, I'm going to grow up and be this job. It was just always, I'm going to try and be a footballer. That was the, that was the goal. And you're definitely getting there, like. Well, not there yet, but we're, I'm close, yeah. getting closer. You came through the Five Elite uh, Football Academy to sign a mother apprentice contract after, and I'm quoting here, impressing in training and pre-season friendlies. How much do you learn from training and playing in a first team with experienced players like Benny or Vaughan? Oh, loads. Just, I think, I think I was 16 when I first came in and started playing like, I think I came in for a bounce game just after lockdown. And obviously after that, I started coming in more. Just, it was kind of like a trial period. And it's just a massive difference because obviously I was going from playing with people at Fife Elite who are 15, 16, same size as me. Maybe I was probably even a wee bit small for my age, maybe a wee bit. So coming in here, playing against grown men, you know, it's, uh, it's just one of those. It's... Um, it's a massive, massive difference. So it was tough, but you get used to it after a few, maybe a few months, you start getting, learning to use your body a bit more. And I definitely feel like I'm getting more used to it now. Do you feel like you adapted well within the squad when you first went in? I feel like, yeah, I feel like so. Because it was, to be honest, it's a, it's a good bunch of boys here, you know, they, they all talk to you. They don't sort of leave you out. They make you feel included. You know, Benny's a, a really good captain and, even like she say Ross Matthews and that is they're all they're all brilliant to be fair. So and to be fair, like Wraith have they don't have like a really old squad, so it's not like that hard to fit in because it's not you've got like a lot, lot older players, like you've got other players that are like 22, 24, 25 within the squad as well. So there's not that much difference. Yeah, that's it, especially for me as well. There's other modern apprentices here as well. So it makes it easier as well, definitely. Uh, John McGuinn and the management team in general have always had good things to say about you and the way you play. How much confidence does that give you going forward with your career? A lot of confidence, to be fair, because I've, if I'm being honest, I've never really been someone who like believes in myself as much as I maybe should do. So it's, it does, it gives you a wee bit more confidence when you hear the gaffer saying things like that and it, it gives you a wee boost, so... It definitely helps a lot. Uh, and at such a young age, obviously, like we said at the beginning, you're only 17, but you've had the opportunity to play against premiership teams like Livingston, Aberdeen, Celtic, Just that's just this season, all in the League Cup. Without, like, last result aside, what did it feel to get the opportunity to play against teams like that? Oh, brilliant. Just... It's a bit surreal, to be honest, because like I say, 
I've, this time last year I was playing under 18 football, so it's it's massive. You know, if I somebody told me this time last year I'd be playing at Celtic Park, like uh, in front of I don't know how many it was there, thirty five thousand or something, I would have probably just laughed at you. But it's crazy. It just shows what can happen in such a small space of time. But it's definitely an unreal feeling. Obviously, like you got a really good result against Aberdeen, knocking it like really good side like Aberdeen. You then got Celtic away, and does it knock you down, like to get that result against them, and like does it knock you down towards like the games coming up, or do you kind of just like go game by game, forget about it once it's passed, and go on to the next one? Do you mean in terms of the Celtic result? Yeah. I, I think you just kind of need to just enjoy it and realize that. We were never probably favourites in that game, and it's we went down to ten men. At ten men, it was it was a hard, hard game. It was always going to be tough. So I don't think you, that can really knock the team's confidence. I think you just got to learn. There's bits and pieces you can learn from that, and then take it in. Because I mean, Celtic are a massive, massive club, so it was always going to be hard. Yeah, certainly. And um, like you still put up like a good game against them. Obviously, second half, the first half even you got like two knocks back. Second half, very early on, you got the other one, but you still had some times where you seen rate attacking it close to goal and stuff. So it's not like it was really one-sided as a lot of people would have probably expected it to be. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. I mean, you've seen Premiership teams less than a month ago go, go there and get beat by five and six. So the fact that we were, like, as you say, the start of the second half, we lost a goal quite early. And then, obviously... Yeah. So obviously losing a goal early in the second half, it was hard, but and then we go down to ten men, so you're thinking, oh, this could this could be a long night. But the boys done well, they've done great in the second half. I thought, you know, the fact that we've got ten men and we're still I think there's a move that we've got twenty eight passes or something and we got a a ball in the box and it's it shows you that we're good enough to sort of compete with the best teams in Scotland. Yeah, definitely. And you heard it on TV as well. So I was watching it from home and you heard uh, people on TV saying uh, that they were surprised to see, obviously, Raid going down to 10 men, still fighting, being 3 0 down, still fighting, attacking, trying to get that goal back, even down to 10 men. So it was definitely really good. Yeah. On the 26th of August, you signed a contract extension along with three other uh, teammates. How much work is there behind a 17-year-old getting to a first team like Ray? And how does it feel to get this new opportunity to extend your contract? It feels it feels really good to be fair because obviously being young and being in about the first team is is tough and you kind of need to work harder. I would say you need to do more. Not you can't just do the training, you need to do more things in the gym, try and get yourself bigger and be able to handle that. So there is a lot, a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes and even especially when you're not playing that much, there's loads of running and try to keep your fitness up just in case there's a chance. And so there definitely is a lot of work that goes into it. But especially when you get the contract extension, it gives you a wee bit of a wee bit of weight lifted off your shoulders because you know that you've got more time to kind of put even more work in and try and push on again. So yeah, definitely felt good. Do you feel like like obviously this uh, extension it gives you like an opportunity to obviously like you said work harder and maybe prove yourself more throughout the years as you get more game time, more opportunities and stuff. Yeah, definitely. That's it. I mean, obviously, being young, I know I'm, I understand that I'm not going to play every week as much as I maybe like to, but I think for me, it's just all about when I do get on the park, try and show what I can do and try to work the game time up and see maybe how far I can take it in the next few years and see what happens. Yeah, certainly. How does it feel to be able to play in front of supporters again? Strange. Well, to be, to be fair, I say strange, but I've never, like I say, I keep saying it, but last year playing for Five Fleet, there's, it's only like the parents that are there, so I've never really played in front of fans anyway, but it definitely does feel good. Like, I understand what everyone says, like was saying last year, it doesn't feel the same in that because it just felt like, like training games. It felt like you were training, whereas now it's, you know, when you score and you hear the, the crowd celebrating, it's, it gives you that wee adrenaline and it's definitely so much better. Yeah. And, like, see last season, were you even able to have, like, parents and stuff there? or uh, were no. No supporters at all? So even Nobody just seeing your parents back on the stands and stuff, like, 
Um, yeah. Give you like a, a, like a boost, like to do better and stuff. Eh? Yeah, definitely. Because obviously, I've never like they've they've never seen me even be like on the bench or anything. So that was probably good for them as well. Yeah. Uh, you've only just started, and you obviously still have a long like career way ahead of you. But what is the best thing football has given you so far, and what does football mean for you in your everyday life? Um, given me, I'd say probably just enjoyment like this. This guy here, there's a couple of guys here. Just coming in every day, and this is this is your job. So like being around those are good guys and meeting new people, and this is like this is my job. So it's this is all I ever wanted to do. So it's that's probably the best thing it's given me, just enjoyment. And what was the other question you said? Uh, what does it mean for you in your everyday life? Oh, just to be fair, it's kind of the same as my answer because obviously that's all you ever want to do yeah. for me personally. So it's kind of just, we've got a hip star man here, Dylan Tate. <laughs> <laughs> He's not happy with that. <laughs> uh, see, when obviously you were younger and stuff, when you like school eh, and training, would you say it was hard to like keep up with like school work and then like going to training and stuff? Especially as you got older and you started to get into like Fife Elite Academy and stuff. Well, to be fair, I was kind of lucky because I went to a school for football in Edinburgh called Broughton. So they were kind of good because obviously you do your training during the day and then they would give you like maybe classes that were specifically for catching up with your schoolwork and that, but to be fair, I was never really that interested in school. I was just always kind of focusing on the football, but I, they were they were good with it, though. That was easy. Yeah, certainly at the end of the day, if, like, you knew from the beginning that football was what you wanted to do, like, you don't really, like, bother too much about, like, the other, like, school-related stuff if you knew you had a chance of getting there. Yeah, well, to be fair, it wasn't even the case that I knew I had a chance. It was just kind of... I thought, you know what, I might as well sort of give everything to try and go for it. And then if it doesn't work, then I can try and do something else. But Yeah, you can always go back. Like, yeah. You had plenty of time to go back if you felt it wasn't working out. But why not give it your best shot while you can? Eh? Yeah, exactly. And that's always certainly also good advice for obviously even younger people working their way through uh, different academies. Gave it your best shot, would you not say? Definitely, yeah. I think a lot of people tell you to have a backup plan, but to be honest, I think if you have a backup plan, then it kind of distracts you for sort of going for it because you think, well, I've already got that to fall back on. So I think that's kind of why I, I've sort of where I am now because I never really had a backup plan. I just, I kind of had to do it, you know what I mean? I had to try and do it. Definitely, and it's working out well for you so far. Like you've gotten yourself into a first team, you're getting minutes, and you're getting up. You've even had opportunities in the league. It might not have been like the longest spell in the league, but you're getting there. And obviously, like uh, John and Glenn and the members of staff, and obviously are very happy with you and uh, your work and stuff. So it's certainly been good for you. Yeah, definitely. That's it. I mean. Obviously, that we're not, I'm not going to get the longest sort of game time at the minute, but hopefully that's to come and hopefully I can stay in the game for a wee while. Certainly. Well, I want to say thank you so much for coming along. Uh, I know it's been really short, but obviously you're really young. You've still got a lot to go. Not much in the past yet. So yeah. uh, hopefully good things coming for uh, all of you this season as well. Yeah, hopefully. I mean... Last season we got to the playoffs, so hopefully this season we can maybe go one more and try and go for it. It'd certainly be special for the fans to be able to see you get to the playoffs this time round. Yeah, good. definitely. That's a, that's a big thing as well. Obviously, they weren't here to see it last season, so hopefully they can replicate that and they can see it this season and everyone will be happy. Certainly. Uh, well, good luck, obviously, for the East 5 game coming up as well, the uh, Challenge Cup. Obviously, last time you played... Uh, well, last time Ray played in it, it will, they go to the final that they couldn't play, so got a joint winner. So hopefully they can obviously replicate that as well this season. And uh, just thank you very much for coming along. No problem. Thank you.